Typical practice for me is I usually start sort of around the green and I take three wedges. So I always take all my wedges. I take my, I have a 62 degree, I have a 58 degree, and I have a 52 degree. So I take, take those wedges with me. What I like to do is I like to chip in uh, three or four balls with each club. So I work around the green until I chip in three. And these are not always easy shots, but I only like to bring about three or five golf balls to, uh, to short game when I'm, when I'm working. Because I find that if I bring too many, I can't stay on track and I kind of just go through the motions with the numbers. So I like to have a plan. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to pick a spot. So I usually just pick a grade of grass or something like that right about here. And I pick a spot and I aim my club to that. So I think it's important to have an intermediate target. Another thing that I do when I'm practicing is I make sure that I uh, I keep a, another stick down or a club down for alignment. I think it's really important. Sometimes you get a good chip, but your alignment's off. It's, it's very common to uh, to, to do shots so you can cover. But a lot of times I like to hit at something. It's just fun. It's like playing games. Yeah. So that is that's 20 yards for me. So I will hit maybe five or ten shots, or I'll make the challenge until I can hit the bucket, then I'll move on to the next target. So it's really important to not only hit it a target, but I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to give it a purpose, which is the same thing when you're out there playing. If you're just hitting shots randomly, yeah. you don't know. So I know that's exactly 20 yards. So I'm working on my mechanics to hit a 20 yard shot and building muscle memory. But I'm doing it deep. I have a purpose. I'm trying to hit the bucket. I'm not just saying, oh, 20 yards, oh, you know, just going through the motions. Hitting to a big green. Like, let that green's probably 50 yards. So if I just hit to that, like, that's not enough. Just getting on the green. Like, I want to know, I want to hit shots within a couple of feet. So that's something that, that I like to do if I like to make it fun and keep it in the game. I noticed that. Um for the shorter shots, you play it off your right toe, but you know, for the 50 meter shot, you open up your stance a little bit more. How do you decide when to open up the stance and this when to? when I'm doing trial and error, just out here when I'm practicing, uh, by feel. The most important thing is that the club is square. So if the club is square, you know, it's really what's comfortable for you. And then when you find out what's comfortable for you, stick with it. Don't change it. You have to be able to just commit to that's what's going to work. Now, every player is a little bit different. The way that my coach teaches, everything's in the center of the stand. When I chip, the weight's a little bit more forward. I don't play a lot of shots. Uh, when I when I want a shot to roll out, I play it back in my stance. When I want to hit a shot higher, I move it up. So you see a player over here? You see how she's putting down targets? Yep. That's very common for players to put down targets. Another thing we'll do is we'll hit at the signs. You know, we did a 20 to 30. And um, the distance at which you take the club back, is, is it all feel or, you know, how far you take the club back on varying the feel. distances? Um, um, I, when you I just first started playing, I looked at it like a clock, okay? So if 12, so I'm, I'm basically 6 o'clock, right? So this would be 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, um, any way that you want to look at it, however your clock is. So that would be 1, that would be 2, that would be 3, that would be 4, be 5. So you can do it that way. You can also do it percentage-wise, 100%, 80%, 70%, 60%. So it's basically just figuring out which is how, which is good for you. I, I pretty much go halfway back, three quarters, and full, and everything else is this feel. Because the same way that you know you have, you guys are athletes. When you're out there playing golf, you want it to be athletic. You don't want it to be. If I'm just throwing it at this bucket, I don't think like. Okay, it's this far back or it's this far back. All I'm trying to do is toss it at the bucket. Use your natural athleticism through practice to, to execute the shot and use your hand-eye coordination. So practice practice builds confidence, for sure. And, and practice also builds muscle memory. But then when you're out there playing, and have, you have to go to the field. You can't be so stringent on the details of a clock or at 50-50 because I guarantee you that all of you guys, if I gave you a ball, you figure out a way to hit the bucket. Not because you knew exactly where your ball position was, yeah. 
or you knew how far you took it back, or you knew that you kept your right elbow in. And that leads me to my next point with, with short game is you have to be relaxed. You can't overthink it. I don't overthink it in some buckets, and neither would you guys. You just do it and you just react, and that's what sports are about. So don't lose the athleticism in, in sports by, golf is very detailed, and the details and the fundamentals are very important. But they're important when you're practicing. When you're out there playing, it's important to get in a good setup, but that's built in practice. All of this stuff that you want to achieve and you want to get better on the golf course, you work on it on the range. So when you go out and play, it's just like throwing a ball. It's just like putting a ball on a tee. It has to be already ingrained in your muscle memory. That's not the place to work on your swing. And whenever you have that day, if whatever your swing gives you, if you're hitting it right to left, go with it. That day, don't try to change it on the golf course that particular day. If that's what's working, that's what's working. You, it's can, never really, you can overthink easy. golf. you got to figure out how to keep it simple. I overthink golf every day. And I always try to think, okay, got to keep it simple, keep it simple. It's still, you know, the athletic move that, with, that it is with a golf swing. We have competition, like with other pros, yeah. you know, like on hitting, yeah. and bring in a friend, hey, let's see who can hit the bucket three times, and the two of you guys get practice that way. Or with your kids, they love games. You know, who can hit the bucket, who can hit the bucket. Yeah, really? No, yeah. no plants? No shoes. The shoes, yeah? No. Are those yours? Yes, these are my shoes. How many, how many models have you got? Six. Now? Those are nice. Are shoes your thing? I love shoes. I love clothes. I'm kidding. Yeah, I love it all. <laughs> Accessories, jewelry, glasses, you name it. Everything you can do it in the gym. Okay. Um, and the best way to do that is to improve your core strength. So if you just, if it's all about the core strength and flexibility. So once your core gets stronger, you'll get to go further. <laughs> Can you want to tell us a little bit about your fitness routine? I mean, you look yeah, my fitness very routine athletic. is I, I work out every day. It's about 60 to 90 minutes a day. Okay. A lot of cardio, a lot of stretching, uh, a lot of core stability work. Just try to, uh, you don't want to get, uh, when you're lifting, you want to make sure that you can increase your, your flexibility while you're lifting and you don't lose your range of motion. Um, it's a sort of a sliding scale on how strong you are to be able to maintain as strong as you can be and still maintain your flexibility and not be sore because it's not fun to play golf sport the next day. Any? What do I do to warm up? Stretch. I stretch for about half an hour, 45 minutes before I play. Stretching for half an hour, 45 minutes? What kind of stretches? Um, I stretch out hamstring. Uh, I would show you the stretches if they take pictures of me. <laughs> uh, really focus on my hamstring and my hip flexors. I actually have a stretching mat in the United States. So if you go to uh, g2fit.com, or you want, if you go onto my website, natalieglobus.com, all the stretches are on there. Oh, okay. And I have a mat that shows you the little pictures. So basically you lay out this mat that's a golf mat, and it's got 20 stretches that you do when you go through the series of stretches, one by one. And it has them all out there.